Everything happens for a reason. Merch is out now. I dropped a couple hats at artbytroy.co. Personally, I'm a huge fan of the camo one, but the fit on the green and cream signature Coastal Cowboy is just fire. I wear it every day. I really do wear it every day. If you guys do order right now, I will be throwing in a little special gift with any of your purchases. Right. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Troy Talks a Lot. This is season three, episode four five, six, I want to say. Regardless, it's just a lot of fucking episodes. So here we are, back in my bed, talking a lot. I hope everyone had a wonderful holiday, Thanksgiving, that is, if you celebrate. Um, mine was a lot of fun. It was, family's great. Friends are good. However, it just gets tricky sometimes um, in certain situations when... It seems like certain things just don't go necessarily your way. And what I mean by that is, how do I say this? Um, sometimes in life, doors close. Whether or not you're religious, whether or not you believe in a higher power, whether or not you just believe in fate, people come into your life for certain reasons and people leave out of your life. Sometimes you never know why, but we all say everything happens for a reason whether it's somebody coming into your life to to be a friend for life or a spouse or a significant other or being a lesson in your life sometimes that lesson doesn't always present itself right off the bat however you eventually will understand why that person or that thing happened in your life and learn your lesson everything happens for a reason Everything happens for a reason. I, I think there's just a higher power trying to bring that person and you together. I think maybe that relationship just didn't necessarily work out the way you wanted because there's somebody that suits you better somewhere out there in the world that you're eventually going to meet in your lifetime. I just think that things happen for a reason. And with that being said... I've had a lot of friends that come and go. I've had good friends that have stuck by my side. They always say you can count your best friends on one hand. I don't even think I need a full hand. I think I need like three. Three ride or dies. Three people that will be there for you every step of the way. Three people that you can call at three in the morning when your car is got a flat tire and you're broken down on the side of the road those are your real friends those are like your day ones the ones that talk and bring up your name in like a room full of opportunity ones that are always supporting you not just looking for like free handouts if something good happens for you ones that have seen you at your worst and have seen you at your best those are like your real true friends and while a lot of friends come and go like i said i just think there's a reason for it I think everything happens for a reason you might not always understand the reason you might just be sitting there being like why the hell did this happen to me what did I do but as opposed to acting on it just I feel like sometimes you got to step back and just assess the situation for what it is and think and as opposed to me just being emotional about it and, and saying poor me poor me poor me maybe you take a second you step back and you look at the bigger picture because a lot of us are always just so narrow-sighted. We're so like, oh, that's what I want. But that might not always be the thing that you need, right? You don't always need the things that you want. And for that reason, I think a lot of people need to learn to slow down because everything happens for a reason. You're not always going to get that one thing you want because you don't necessarily need it. Whether or not, again, again, whether or not you believe in God or a higher power, he will always give you what you need as opposed to what you want. I think everyone has a lot of things that they want, but they don't need them. Like, if you, if you got everything that you ever wanted, you'd be bored in the first place. Half the time you get something that you want and you're like, oh, I've always wanted a pair of those Jimmy Choo shoes. You go out, you get them, you enjoy them for like five days. And then after that, you're on to the next Louis Vuittons. You're it's just like people are never satisfied, but everything happens for a reason because that's the way that it was scripted out for you. You didn't end up going on that photo shoot and meeting some girl for a random reason. You didn't end up going to the coffee shop and just accidentally butting into someone and maybe spilling their coffee. And you're like, oh shoot, I'm so sorry. Because in the moment you're like, 
fuck, like, what did I do? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. But it's not just coincidental. Like, there was a reason that you accidentally knocked over their shit. That's how some of our best friends were made. It's just doing stupid shit or just, like, something that was so out of the ordinary where you're like, whoa, what the fuck was that? It's so weird how the world works and how the universe works and just everything works in such mysterious ways. And this is the most like hippie and LA shit I've ever said, but we're all just like frequencies and balls of energy that run around and attract the same energy that we kind of put into the world. It's crazy to think because here we are on this tiny little speck called Earth. And outside Earth is an entire, an entire universe entire galaxy and the fact that we think that things are just coincidences are just it's so just mind-blowing to me like everything happens for a reason everything must happen for a reason it must like the thought of things just being like coincidental doesn't make any sense like why you why you out of everyone in this world hundreds of millions and billions of people why did you randomly run into the girl that you had the biggest crush on for like two three years at a coffee shop on a tuesday at 10 3 in the morning when you were supposed to walk there but all of a sudden you changed your mind to go drive and boom who's there the one and only like that's like that, that's crazy to me like everything happens for a reason and kind of going back to the lessons is that people come and go in your life and people teach you such valuable life lessons that you should never look back at someone and be like oh that was a shitty relationship because because i don't care how you guys left off on your terms you gain something from that you learn something from that and as hard as it is to like revisit being like oh well that was a shitty breakup like yeah i've been there but now that I'm over it emotionally, I can now sit back and look at the bigger picture and be like, wow, I, I grew so much from that moment because I now realize what I like, what I don't like, what I'm willing to put up with, what I'm willing to not tolerate. Everything happens for a reason. Everything happens for a reason. The fact you didn't get in that college you wanted, that happened for a reason. The fact you got laid off, that happened for a reason. The fact that you failed... Your math test. Well, I mean, that was probably just because you didn't study. But I mean, hey, there was probably a reason because you didn't study. The fact of the matter is everything happens for a reason. I guess the question is, is what is that reason half the time? But I don't know. And that's why it's fun. That's why life is fun. Because we have no fucking idea. If you're down on yourself and you're like, man, I didn't get that job. Or, oh, I should have studied harder. Or, or I didn't get into that school. Or that girl shut me down or that guy shut me down or my date stood me up you know what as hard as it is in the moment sometimes you just gotta laugh it off and say you know what everything happens for a reason and I know that's hard to hear you're like Troy what the fuck like yeah this guy stood me up on a date I sat at dinner by myself maybe the host thought you were cute maybe a guy passing by was like whoa why is she just sitting all by herself? And maybe he had the balls to strike up a conversation. Maybe as you're walking out all bummed out, maybe somebody standing at valet was like, hey, sometimes you might just think, hey, everything happens for a reason. If that's not a sign, I don't know what is. Once you stop playing a victim and just start thinking, you know what? Everything happens for a reason. Life becomes a little less stressful. Just a little bit. I'm not saying it's going to cure all your problems. However, if you could learn to like laugh at it a little bit and be like, you know what? Everything happens for a reason, you know, and kind of just put it out in the universe that, hey, this is what it is. And this is my energy. This is how I'm living life. It just makes things a little bit simpler. And it's kind of nice. You should try it out. But anyways, with that being said, Ladies and gents, thank you so much for listening to another episode of Troy Talks A Lot. Again, everything happens for a reason. Go out for a coffee for yourself. Go have a dinner alone. Go to the movies and eat a whole carton of popcorn by yourself. You never know who you're going to meet. You never know what's going to happen. Everything happens for a reason. It really does. Anyways, hit that subscribe button, babes. We are on the mission to 10,000 subs by the end of the year. 
hit the like button if you like this video. Leave a comment or two down below. Anyways, with that being said, I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching another episode. Peace.